the last trend text 21 we were talking about the loving service of mother yashoda what is not possible for yogis tapasvis gyanis so these are all the like forceful practices forcing pushing but bhakti is not the matter pushing bhakti is not the matter enforcement oh radhe radhe dhanavad jai radhe you are already saying the bhakti begins with dasya rasa daso ham dasya asmi dainya kankarya dainya full of humility when comes this is the main main feature of bhakti main sign lakshan then and Krishna also said that it doesn't matter that who whosoever is uh, praying for me ye yatha maam prapadyante in Bhagavad Gita he is saying tam stathaiva bhajamme ham maam vartmanu vartante manusya partha sarusa the people are surrendering to me but surrendered in what way which way this is where it becomes important over here. How surrendering? And surrendering with which mood? While surrendering devotee, what keeping in the heart? He wants to become friend. Due to devotee wants to become brother. A devotee in Kantabhav. A lover, some consider his wife, as Mirabai said, Mere to Giridhar Gopal, Dusuro na koi. Not any other one, respect for all, but Mero. Mero means the intimacy, the word Mero means intimacy. Relation. Deep relation, strong relation. Mero. Mere to Giridhar Gopal. Only Krishna is mine. Dusaro na koi. My intimate relation is only with Sri Krishna. Not with any other one. Personal relationship. Accordingly, everyone follows my path in all respects. Differently, people are saying, some saying, Master, I am the servant. So, means all individual souls are seeking for Krishna. And all souls are lovable. The soul becomes lovable because it is the part and parcel of Sri Krishna. So it is very clear Prabhupada in saying in his purport that the mood of soul is love. The soul is seeking love and that's this biggest love, the form of the biggest love is Sri Krishna. The soul wants the highest love, want to go back from where the soul separated. He is restless in this. I want, I want this love, I want this love. Sarvar Eham Eva Vidya by all the Vedas. It is I am no, to be known.
And then it is said that the Nitya Siddhas are the associates. In purport, the second thing Prabhupada was saying that the Nitya Siddhas are always with Sri Krishna's. And if Sadhan Siddha wants to become joined Sri Krishna, they have nothing to do. They just associate with the those who are associate with Krishna, Nitya Siddha. So we increase our love to the devotees. Krishna is saying that my devotees are more higher than me. So the upcoming devotees, what should they do? It means Krishna accepting they are Nitya Siddha. They are always with me. Higher means the devotees by their loving mood, by their dasya mood. Because they don't want anything from me. The nature of Nitya Siddha, they don't want except Sri Krishna in their life anything else. And we, as a Sadhana Siddha, with a bit of material existence in our life, we also should associate ourselves with this Nitya Siddha. So now in the verse, Twenty-two. We come because this was the last time what we read and what I could able to explain a little bit in text twenty-one. We are almost on the conclusion of chapter uh, chapter nine. Krishna stu griha kritesu vagrayam matri prabhu adrakshi darjuno purvam griha ko dhan datmajau. While Mother Yashoda was very busy with household affairs, the Supreme Lord Krishna observed twin trees known as Yamala Arjuna, which in a former millennium had been the demigod sons of Kubera. So whenever we go Gokul Dham in the different places of pastime of Sri Krishna, we visit Gokul. There is a place Gokul near Mathura and where this Damodar Leela happened and in this Damodar Leela when Krishna pulled a little bit this uh, ukhal, this uh, tool for churning spices, then this both of the trees were fell down. And these two dream were none of anyone because they were son of Kuvera. Kuvera is the accountant, means is a treasurer of Srimadhi Radharani. In giving all the material comforts with the help of goddess of fortune to the to in the devotee life. So these two trees were the sons of Kubera. So by somehow they cursed by Narada Muni. Once they were taking bath in a river, completely naked, and they were playing in the uh, this river with the other women. So Narad Muni saw this and he cursed them. This, then they turned into these two trees. But it is said to them that when in Dwapara Krishna will appear on this Bhuloka, he will come and he will be free from this curse. Anyway, these are the different stories.
So Krishna saw these two trees, Yamala Arjuna, which in a form and blame because Krishna was knowing everything. But he came to just perform different kind of Leela. So Pura Narada Shapena Bhikshitam Prabhato Madat Nal Kubar Mani Grivavati Khyato Shriyan Vito. These two Kubera son were named Nal and Kubar. Those who turned in the tree name, the tree name was Yamala and Arjun. But the name of Kubera sons, when they were there that time, they were Nal Kubar. So this story is there in Srimad Bhagavatam. So it is said now about now Prabhupada uh, in the translation, the ex explanation is about these two trees, how the sons of Kuber turned into these two trees by the curse of Narada Muni. So in their former birth, these two sons known as Nal Kuvara and Manigriva. One son name was Nalkubar and another was Manigriva, were extremely opulent and fortunate. But because of pride and false prestige, they did not care about anyone. So, in this Kali Yuga also, in our pride and prestige, in our honor, in our stage, when we avoid or just unseen in the society, so we have to be very careful also, doesn't matter, that's why it is said, Dhanita is very important, humility is very important in the life of devotee. So this incident giving to how we should behave in our life, even if we have a lot of opulence. Our mental state should not become crazy. We should be very full of humility. Actually, all these things like just one by saying, because in the society, these type of spiritual masters are not there. It is very difficult to understand. That's why spiritual masters are very important in each and everyone's life. If spirituality is not there in the life, its life is completely useless because you don't know how to behave, what to do and what to do not. It is not possible. In Kali Yuga, if someone is saying that I know everything, is the, I think, is the fullest one. Without making one Guru, without going under the shelter of any Mahajan, any Bhakta devotee, senior devotee or the spiritual master, this is not possible that we will be able to manage this life nicely. Otherwise, this life is full of craziness. Even though it is given the very good, beautiful chance, but in ignorance, it happens that when we don't know many things, we are totally away, far from all the different knowledge until we don't know. So, Gyan Timiranda se Gyananjan Salagaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Sir Guru Menava Chakshudan Dila Jai Janme Janme Prabhu Chai Guru can give this and show what to do in your life, how to maintain your material life. So this Nalkuvan and Manigriva, they did not care about anyone. And thus Narada Muni cursed them to become trees. Opulence comes and mind disturbed. So this is the meaning of this verse over here. That we have to check ourselves. Okay, right, where we are, we got many things. Mao, this post, this post, higher, 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 more and more coming in my life because of my fortune. 
इज माई मेंटल स्टेटस एम आई बैलेंस और नॉट इन दिस लाइफ इफ वी आर नॉट वी आर नॉट चेकिंग वी आर नॉट फेल टू चेक आवर सेल्फ वी शुड गो अंडर द शेल्टर ऑफ ए स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर विल कट द ऑल डार्कनेस ऑफ आवर लाइफ दट्स वाई इट इज इन अज्ञान इति मेरा अंदर ज्ञानंजन शला गया शलाका मीन्स वन स्टिक जस्ट टच विद दिस स्टिक अज्ञान विद स्टिक ऑफ नॉलेज then the all darkness removes it is very important now we are coming in chapter 10 thus end the bhakti vedanta purports of the 10th canto 9th chapter of shrimad bhagavatam entitled mother is the bhagavans lord sri krishna now we are in chapter 10 the deliverance of the yamala arjuna trees Actually, devotee doesn't want deliver. Devotee is one association. We don't want to become free. We want to join. We want relationship. So, okay, this word is it. It means uh, it. It gives a meaning to know in Shrimad Bhagavatam of other lila. So this chapter describes how Krishna broke the twin Arjuna trees, from which Nala Kubara and Mani Griva, the sons of Kubera, then came out. I I would like to say something about this uh, something related with this tree. This Arjuna tree, the upper layer. means the skin of this trees you might have been seen the some hard skin on the trees is there that can remove this arjuna trees is also a medicine for the heart disease blockages <laughs> so there is a message through this tree that we need to open our blockages the nal kubar and mani gri were blocked somewhere then turned into this arjuna tree the ayurveda is still today this is the upper skin of arjuna tree <coughs> making the powder of this after drying <coughs> the ayurvedic doctors are using for the heart disease so we all have heart disease but this disease is kind i am not saying that among to whom i know they have heart disease but many in the society people have heart disease means this disease is connected with purity the sickness is related with purity need to clean heart we all are associate devotees we know each other nicely so our heart at least not like that by our process we almost clean our heart and those under the process they are also trying to clean their heart nalakumara and mani griva were great devotees of lord shiva but because of material opulence they became so extravagant and senseless that one day they were enjoying with naked girls in a lake and shamelessly walking here and there suddenly narada muni passed by but they were so maddened by their wealth and false prestige that even though they saw narada muni present they remained naked this even after looking at narada muni they didn't cover themselves and were not even ashamed 
they were knowing that he is the Narada Muni, highest Vaishnava, but even in this uh, senselessness, they couldn't understand what to do, what to do. They remained naked and were not even ashamed. In other words, because of opulence and false prestige, they lost their sense of common decency. Of course, it is the nature of the material qualities. Things are very clear that I think that sometimes I become speechless. I no need to explain a lot many things. Of course, this is the nature of material qualities that when one becomes very much opponent in terms of wealth and a prestigious position, one loses one's sense of etiquette and does not care about anyone. Even a sage like Narada Muni For such bewildered persons, Ankara Vimudatma, for such bewildered persons who specially deride devotees, the proper punishment is to be again striking with poverty. Of course, if we are not understanding the value of the what we got. And what the good fortune came to us in the spiritual world also, we got the fortune to be in, to be in kind this kind of association. But we have to understand the value also. Just for the name that oh yeah, I am associated with. I am going Brindavan. Oh yeah, yeah. This will also not work. We have to understand the value. For what we are going with that one. What we need to what this is the necessity to be in Vrindavan. And even those who are living, a person like me, also very important to understand. Definitely my bhajan sadhans are not at that level. So sometimes I also feel very shame about myself. Anyway, but this is also not enough that I am feeling something. I have to do. <laughs> we are here to do something. We are not doing, we are losing the chance, a very golden chance after coming in this human form. So it's a, it happens like this, the people got open and they forgotten that what for what this opulence is there in their life, the same thing happened here with Nal Kubar and Mani Griva. And in the result of what happens, the punishment because in the next time they will become bigger. If those have lord and they don't know the use of their money or the wealth of their property, suddenly they will be striking to be go in poverty life. The Vedic rules and really regulations prescribe how to control the false sense of prestige by the practice of Yama. This is the one of the part of yoga. Yama, Niyama and so on. Tapasa Brahmacharyena Samena Cha Damena Cha A poor man can be convinced every easily, very easily that the prestige of an opulent position in this material world is temporary. A poor man, not a rich, 
can be convinced very easily because he don't have anything that the prestige of an opponent position in this material world is temporary. We all, each and everybody has to die, leave this material body. But a rich man cannot. Because he forgets. Therefore, Narada Muni set an example by cursing these two persons, Nalkubara and Manigriva, to become dull and unconscious like trees. Asthavaram Jangamam. Asthavar. He cursed them to become Asthavar. Trees cannot walk. Become jar at one place, standing only. This was a fit punishment. But because Krishna is always merciful. The nature of now, our dear Krishna and Radharani. Happening something but mercy is there. Even though they were punished, they were fortunate enough to see the Supreme Personality of Godhead face to face. Even though they become the tree. That's why the trees And the plants and all greenery of Vrindavan becomes very significant. Who knows who they are? That's why it is said, don't break the trees, don't cut the trees. Because we don't know. Because even the demigods are praying that even we take birth, why we do? But this golden church we don't have. Even if we are ready to become that creeper, we want to become the trees in Vrindavan. Therefore, the punishment given by Vaishnavas is not all, all punishment. Narabudhi is also a great Vaishnava. So this punishment and curse was not useless. Rather, it is another kind of mercy. <laughs> one sadhu was there, Krishna Baba is telling one story. One sadhu by his bhajan, he became not become much. This was the disturbance in his bhajan came because he reached at that stage that the throne of Indra was shaking. Oh my God, who is doing so much bhajan at the, in this, uh, on this earth? So this incident happened in one village, Kesha Baba knowing, that one sadhu was very, doing a lot of bhajan, nastic, very intense bhajan, and slowly, in this village where he was doing bhajan, many rich people started coming to him. Riddhi Siddhi, when, you, when a sadhu reached on the stage, so the disturbance come in his life like this. Then the rich said opponent like aristocratic people start reaching to them to give disturbance in their... Oh, we heard a lot about of you. Please bless us. Bless us. Take some. We want to do seva. This Baba said, what seva? Oh, you are living in this hut. You want to make one small, nice room for you. Baba said, no, no, no. I don't need. But people were coming to get their, his blessings. And he was saying, okay, the only way to get the blessings, do bhajan. Do bhajan. Bring bhajan in your life. Go and darshan, eat prasad, do bhajan, do parikarma, do all the darshan. But he was not accepting anything. But the, some young people of this village, they thought, my God, many big, big cars, Mercedes and the Range Rover of different cars are coming. 
this Baba means now he is becoming more and more opulent. Definitely, if these nice rich people are coming, they are definitely giving something to him. And the young people, they saw, thought like this. They were done. They reached to Baba. And they were, Baba, nowadays very many big rich people coming to you. Where are you hiding all the money? Give this money. And Baba said that, Are, I don't have anything. But, oh, you're telling lie. You will not tell us like this or what. Then they started searching in his heart. Everywhere they destroyed everything. Actually, the nothing was there. But whatever his, his small clay pot was there, they broken all the... the his bed was one a small bed was there. They just removed all the blankets and the, all this, uh, the, his copine and dhoti all. And then say, oh, now you will not tell like this. Then they started beating him. And then beating him, then they hit on the head. So the blood was coming. And after they didn't find, then they gone. This Baba was going to do Madhukari everywhere, every day in the village. One time. And then we, the blood started coming from the head. Then he put the dust of Vrindavan, he put on the, the place where the blood was coming and he, he ties Jai Sri Radhe. He ties this, uh, his uh, safi, this towel, uh, this work piece of cloth in the head and lay down on the bed. So, people saw, thought that, oh, he is not coming. What happened? Baba is not coming for Madhukari because they were loving him a lot. Go and see where is Baba. Then by searching, they came to his, the other people of the village. They came and said, oh, Baba, what happened? Are so many days gone and you didn't come for uh, uh, Madhukari. What happened? Then they saw that Baba is laying on the bed. They said, ah, nothing happened. I was busy little bit doing more bhajan. Then they saw this, the turban and the turban is with full of blood. Are, they asked them, oh Baba, who did? Who did this with you? Tell us. We will not leave them. Ah, then Baba said, Oh, some Vaishnava came. Some Vaishnavas were there and they gave their mercy. This Baba didn't say that some young people, drunk people came and searching the money inside the my heart and they beaten me. No, he said, No, some Vaishnava came and they showered their mercy upon me. So this is the thinking of the sadhus. So a sadhu think always like this. That thing is punishment. Rather, it is another kind of mercy. They came to give their mercy good. That they came to search money in my house. At least their, their dust of their feet at least in my heart. They were Vaishnava. So they showered their mercy upon me and they left. Nothing happened. <laughs> this is the stage of bhava. By the curse of the Devarshi, Nalakubara and Manigriva become twin Arjuna trees and remain in the courtyard of Mother Yashoda and Nan Maharaj in Gokula. Waiting for the opportunity to see Krishna directly. You see, even they were the son of Kubera, they didn't get this chance to have Darshan of Sri Krishna go to near. And here in Dwapara, by the help of Narada Muni, they were able to see Krishna face to face. They didn't got this chance when they were as a Nankubara or Manigriva, the son of Kubera. Lord Krishna, by the desire of his devotee, 
uprooted these Yamala Arjuna trees because they were long, since long they were there. And when Nalakubara and Manigriva were thus delivered by Krishna after 100 years of the Devas, 100 years after of Devtas, not our 100 years, not of this, this Loka. This 100 years was of Devtas 100 years. Their old consciousness revived that what they did just after touching with the feet of Sri Krishna. These both trees turned into their original position. And they offered Krishna's prayers suitable to the offered by demigods. Having thus gotten the opportunity to see Krishna face to face, they understood how merciful Narada Muni was. So we should not take the words of Vaishnava as a punishment or something that some Vaishnava is saying bad. No. Some Vaishnava is saying all mercy. Something will happen, something good will happen. That's why he's saying like this. Oh, something definitely I will got something. That's why some Vaishnava is saying something to me. Wow, Jai Chali Radhe. Very good. Today I got the chance that some Vaishnava, shower his mercy or her mercy on me. Very good. How merciful Narada Muni was and therefore they expressed their indebtedness to him. They were in debt for Narada Muni. He said that the Narada Muni bowed us. We are in owe him something that we will never pay him back. To even thank him. Then after circumambulating the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna, they departed for their respective abodes. We also doing Parikrama. So that's why the one message is also here. Why the Parikrama is important. Parikrama is also one of the cause of our deliverance. Parikrama can be also supportive in our bhajan to, give, to bring us as soon as possible to our goal that we also should go in the, the seva of Srimati Radharani's lotus feet. So that's why this parikarma is not useless. This parikarma is also very... So Nankumar also did parikarma of Sri Krishna and then they departed their respective abodes. Sri Rajo Vacha, now Parikshit Maharaj is saying over here, Katyatam Bhagavan Nattatayo Sapasya Karanam Yattak Virgarhitam Karma Yenava Devarsis Tamaha. So now the same thing is here in the Sanskrit. That Parikshit Maharaj is asking that, Oh, Gos Sukhdev Goswami Maharaj, Please tell us that how, why they become and what happened. <laughs> so the Parikshit Mara, uh, Subdev Goswami that's now defining here in the, uh, through the uh, Sanskrit verses that they were the association of Lord Shiva and uh, so they are wandering near the Kailasa hill, there was a Mandakini lever and taking the advantage of this use to drink a kind of liquor called Varuni. They were drunk. The son of Kubera, this Nalkubar and Manigriva, they were drunk and accompanied with some women. They were plucking the flowers and taking smell of the flower. And they were so much intoxicated. So, but the Prabhupada saying all this, the uh, defining the in his purport, this verse mentions some of the material advantages afforded to persons associated with or devoted to Lord Shiva. 
they were devotees of Lord Shiva. The Prabhupada is saying, the words mention some of the material advantages afforded to persons associated with or devoted to Lord Shiva. Apart from Lord Shiva, if one is a devotee of any other demigod, one receives some material advantages. Like in the material world, some according to their birth child is written, if you do the puja of Lord Ganesha, Kartike, Lakshmi, Saraswati, this, that, you will have Shanti in your life. So according to many people are doing still today, the same thing. So many other demigod one receives some material advantages. Foolish people, from what saying here, foolish people, therefore, become devotees of demigods. My God. Okay, not important. Prabhupada is saying, foolish people therefore become demigods, uh, devotees of demigods. This has been pointed out and criticized by Lord Krishna in Bhagavad Gita very clearly. Kamais tais tair hrita jnana 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 prapadjante nya devataha. प्रभुजी मैं प्रभुजी थोड़ी देर में मैं निकल रहा हूँ यहाँ से जी अच्छा ठीक है ठीक 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 रात दोस who are not devotees of Krishna have a taste for women. Wine and so forth. And therefore they have been described as Ritajana bereft of sense. Okay, Prabhupada is saying so, my humble obeisance in their lotus feet, but it is sometimes observed that if really causeless devotion is there to Shiva, any demandless service to Shiva is cut your all different kind of ignorance. But if you are going, having some desire near to Shiva, this desire will become the source of your destruction in your life. If you are going to Shiva, asking the devotion in the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani, that we want the seva of Srimati Radharani, asking these things to Shiva, these devotees are not foolish. Purpose change than the goal change. So we should not forget our purpose. Even going. Because Shiva is also a Guru Tattva. So this is the thing that by which mood we are going to our Guru. To going to Guru to gain the knowledge or to going to Guru always with our problems. Oh, this happened, this happened, this happens, this happened. How to solve this? How to solve this? How to solve this? Oh, Gurudeva is not listening my problem. For this we make Guru. To solve always our material problem. Ne never asking after reading one book, what is the meaning of this Gurudev? It is said like this. 
We never have always seen book in our hand to go into Guru Dev. It is actually by the Bhagavatam I uh, read today like this that this was written. I am not understanding the meaning. Why it is said like this? Why? What is the meaning of this actually? Our mood should be like this. Always going and asking. Things are related with the spiritual advancement. But a person like me is a full person that I am always going to Guru Dev. Taking my some stupid problem with my lot of stupidity. Oh, Guru Jesus. Guru is a father also. So he sees that, oh, what to do? My son came near to me with his problem. Guru is also helpless at that time because he is the only one who loves very much. So he become also helpless. Then he start solving this problem. Actually, by doing this, we are also disturbing the bhajan of our Guru. We need to be very careful actually. Guru will, de guru will do because he loves. He cannot see. But we troubling our Guru and dis uh, disturbing his bhajan. Spoiling his time in the different kind of things. We are not going with the seva of our Guru mood. We are going to take seva from Guru Dev. This we need to be very careful that what we are doing after going near Guru. If he is saying something, then we are going this too, okay. But we should not go without this type of things. If you ask him, how are you? They say, oh, very good. But just after, how are you? He asks. <laughs> we start our... <laughs> yeah, this is a problem. They are there. A, B, C, D. <laughs> anyway, our Gurudev is little. You know, uh, he is... Uh, mm, Adjustable, he adjusts. So he's ready to do this also always. The Krishna consciousness movement can very easily point out such foolish persons. Okay. For they have been indicated in Bhagavad Gita where Lord Krishna says, Namam Duskritino Mudaha Prapandite Narada. Naradha, Naradhama Maya Prata Jnana Asuram Bhavan Achrita. Those miscreants who are grossly foolish, lowest among mankind, whose knowledge is stolen by illusion. And who partake of the atheistic nature of demons. Do not surrender unto me. This is true. Anyone who is not a devotee of Krishna and does not surrender to Krishna must be considered Naradhama after taking the birth in a human form, his birth is useless. The lowest of men, and Duskriti, one who always commits sinful activities. Thus, there is no difficulty in finding out who is a third class of or fourth class man. For one's position can be understood. Simply by this crucial test, is he or she is, is he not a devotee of Krishna? Why are devotees of the demigods greater in number than the Vaishnava? We see Vaishnavas are very few, 
not many some vaishnavas are there but the other demigod worshippers are many 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 some are going mumbai some are going south some are going kashi some are going haridwar the answer is given here in vaishnavas are not interested in such fourth class pleasures as wine and women nor does krishna allow them such facilities now it is that how they did the son of kubera what they done narden par Shukdev Goswami saying that they were bathing naked in the river and enjoying like elephants, like being a human. Their actions was like animal. Actually, the rivers are very pious, and the river. So we should careful to take bath in the river. That's why in India. the ladies or the men they are when they are going to bath in the river they touching the water they doing like this pranam and they doing dandavat and then they entering in the river to take to bath the ladies are going in the river with clothes covering them men are also wearing pant then they are going in the river in the west it is not like this in the west they mostly they are naked so now sudeep goswami is explaining like this that people generally go to gangas to purify we go in the river to purify clean ourselves from out and in both and the ganga is and other rivers are holy river they are very important they are also the part of demigod rivers are not uh, ordinary river in india but here is an example of how foolish person enter in the ganges to become involved in sinful life oh my god but here is an example of how foolish persons enter the ganges to become involved in sinful life it is not that everyone becomes purified by entering the ganges everything is spiritual and material depends on one's mental condition but the son of kubera they were very fortunate that at that time to make them to understand narada muni came over there this was fortunate otherwise nobody should come and they were playing like this and become more and more crazy but the good thing time that at that same time narada muni came over there Wherever Narada Muni goes, sadhu sangha, sadhu sangha, sarva sastre koi. Lava matra sadhu sangye, sarva siddhi hoi. That was association with sadhu is very important. Sarva siddhi means hoi means what? 
you got the chance you got this kind of knowledge you got the all kind of way to enter how to enter in a spiritual world and how to do the things according in the under the guidance of this type of bona fide spiritual soul this is the meaning sadhu sangha sadhu sangha sarva shastra ko hai all shastra say why go to the sadhu go to the spiritual master go to the spiritual master associate with the spiritual master associate with the spiritual master why lava matra sadhu sangha sarva siddhi hoy lava matra sadhu sangha just for the a little association with sadhus sarva siddhi hoy sarva siddhi we will reach at the level quickly no this sadhu opens the door to enter in the spiritual world and how to maintain your life living even in this material calamities that understand try to understand this life is not only for this eat drink and be merry no we are human being we got this chance only this kal yuga where mahaprabhu brought this hari naam in every kal yuga this is not possible that mahaprabhu will come in all dwapara it is not possible that krishna will come in all treta this is not possible that rama will come it happened not in every treta rama is coming not every dwapara krishna is coming not every satyuga the same the kind of uh, narayan leela or the, his devotees associates leela is going on no in this dwapara just left krishna was there we took birth in this kaliyuga when where mahaprabhu was there and he gave this hari naam in every kaliyuga mahaprabhu will not come so this is the only chance next who knows <laughs> which body one time body means go actually kesa baba yesterday saying that these demi gods and all sadhus all the spiritual master who left the material body and moving in their shuttle body they also need to eat they also want nice places and there are nice places where devotees are doing bhajan they are also saying that how devotee in which mood today is offering and they come also to eat so we are feeding them with our bhajan when we do bhajan they see okay today this will offer then i can go there today if our bhajan is not that demi gods cannot enjoy they remain hungry they siddha nitya siddha they are wandering they are going place to place and they are alive on our offering but they cannot take offering everywhere this is also the one of the condition if we don't create this kind of environment not possible <laughs> so if we want that our param gurudev our acharya should come to our house we have to become like that if we really want that they should be alive so wherever narada muni goes any moment at which he appears is understood to be extremely auspicious it is also said ब्रह्मानंद ब्रमिते कोना भाग्यवान जीव गुरु कृष्ण प्रसादे पाया भक्ति लता बीज 
ब्रह्मानंद ब्रह्मित को भाग्यवान जीव इट डिपेंड्स ऑन आवर फॉर्चुनेट स्टेटस कौन हो वेरी रेयर गुरु कृष्ण प्रसाद पाया भक्ति लदा बीज इफ वी गो टू गुरु वट वी रिसीव इज नॉट गिविंग गुरु वट वेन इज गुरु गिविंग समथिंग टू यू इट दिस इज नॉट ओनली इटेबल थिंग्स इज पासिंग थ्रू हिज एनर्जी टू डेवलप योर मूड अ भक्ति टू डेवलप योर मूड टू सेवा टू डेवलप टू मूड to increase love in your life to develop the least to goal in your life it's not only a little prasad is going don't we should not think like this guru has a meaning to give you prasad while this is a small piece of something what he is giving to eat is a transferring so never deny guru the way just to ah means you are full you full you no need you are gyani all knowing <laughs> this is the mean prabhu is saying here brahmananda brahmite kona bhagyavan jiva guru krishna pradade pae bhakti lata bija the kiri creeper of bhakti will increase will go more higher higher bhakti lata bij this is the seed that is planting in your heart through the through this prasad that's why the krishna prasad whatever we take we offer krishna first and what we eat this increase the mood of our devotion this increase the mood of our seva this increase the mood of our love that we should know how to la what is the meaning to la i think for today i will take your permission next time because just i'm sharing i'm talking i'm not qualified even for this but this i am enjoying myself that having your darshan also telling and sharing something and uh, getting your also little mercy that you bless me that i can do something in my also in bhajan sadhan living in vrindavan i can make it also successful to live this vrindavan for there for today जय जय श्री राधे थैंक यू वेरी मच जय जय श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे गीता गोर प्रेमानंद थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सो मच राधे राधे राम जी थैंक यू Yeah, Bala Bhakti Ji, thank you. I've forgotten your name. What's your name? Thank you so much. Bala. No, no, Har. Good. Bala Radha Kishori Ji, how is Andhika Prabhu? Good. Yes. <laughs> Music yes. open. So yeah, we see the miracle of Radha Rani. Actually, just now you said we should not ask our desire to our Swami and Gurudev, of course. But they knows everything as a motherly love. We didn't ask anything, but automatically what we need, they feed us. Yeah, the beauty of bhakti. Yeah, they are knowing, but that that same thing happened with Ramana Das Goswami that he was sitting at the bank to doing bhajan only. And then Radha Rani saw when she came. So Nathan Goswami saw that oh, Ramunar, you're troubling Shrimati Radha Rani. He said, Ah, oh, no, 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 I don't want to trouble Radha Rani. No, 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 this is not my, this is not my mood. This is not my goal. But yeah, you are doing bhajan in the sun. She is coming and putting her well on your head. Then he made one small hut. <laughs> <laughs> 
that he was doing always bhajan inside. <laughs> she knows, but this is the matter of Ramanath Das Goswami. She knows she is doing, but it is said that we are give to pleasure to them. How they will be happy? This is a devotee mood. This is a devotee thing. Many things come on in the devotee's life, but this is not here. It is saying that the Narada Muni coming not for cursing them. It was not the curse. It was the mercy of Vaishnava. Like the sadhu said, no, no, nothing happened. This, 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 Vaishnava came. It was my something dabbed on my head. So the blood gone. It happened good. That I, I no need to come to, to again to give it back. This deliverance. Something happened in this life. When I will leave, nothing will be there rest to come back again. Coming back is a problem. I don't want to come back. We are for this. Why I don't want to come back? Because I want to remain always in the seva. That's it. I don't want to come back because I am feeling very oh, horrible this material world. No, 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 no. I don't want to. Not for my trouble I am saying this. That I felt, I, I just tolerate so much. I face so much trouble in my this life. That's why I don't come back. No, not for this. I want seva in your lotus feet. That's why I don't want to come back. Because after coming here, this seva, I, I miss this seva. I miss this chance. So it's happening in each and everyone's body uh, life. Something, something always happen because our karma, previous samskaras, many things are there. They will not let us go. We have bhogna padega. We have to face because we done something. If you are doing so much pious and spiritual also and donation, yagya, dan, dharam, punya. This for this again you have to come. Both karma means you have to come. Any karma, you have to come. <laughs> and this bhumi is karma bhumi. So automatically something happening. So we should pray that we want to be there near you to do your seva. Not in this. And here to here we have to learn how to do seva. Then we will be able to do seva there. We didn't learn here and want to do seva there. It is not possible also. As Kesha Baba is saying, he's saying always, Seva, uh, you didn't learn Seva here, what you say, what will you do there? <laughs> this is also one of the things. We want to go there, but how much we learn? Here. That's the same thing we will do there. In our shuttle body. Jaya, thank you very much. Thank you, Sundaram Ji.